You guys, guess what? I got a new fragrance and I'm super excited to share it with you guys. So let's get into it. get into the fragrance let me quickly introduce myself for those of you who may be new here my name is Aisha I make videos about fragrance beauty luxury and lifestyle if those are things you're into then please make sure you go ahead and subscribe now and if you are a returning subscriber hey y'all welcome back to my channel now let's get into this fragrance so the fragrance that I'm here to share with you guys today is from Zerzhoff it's actually my first Zerzhoff fragrance and it comes in this box here so let's open it up so inside of that box, I actually have another box here. <laughs> so I guess this is the real box. Maybe that's just like a shipping box, but let's open this up. So inside of that box, we have uh, this fancy box and this, I'm not sure if it's leather, but if not, it feels like leather or pleather. Um, and it's really substantial y'all. So if you store fragrances like in their boxes, this would make a really nice display. I don't but it's a nice gesture i do keep these <laughs> but they're just like in a special place in my closet so anyway this is what the box looks like let's open it up I'm super excited oh look at that isn't she lovely look at that that is really nice presentation y'all really very nice even the tissue paper is not even paper y'all this is like some sort of felt material that has Zerzhoff written all over it so the fragrance that i picked up is called golden dala and this is from the Zerzhoff coffee break collection so before i actually spray this fragrance let me quickly tell you a little bit about these love like or let down videos if you've never seen one of these videos this is a series that i do on my channel where i give you guys my first impression so very first sniff very first opening of the fragrance and then i wear the fragrance for usually about three days and i come back to you within the same video and tell you guys if it ended up being a love like or a let down for me so if you haven't watched these videos before check out my playlist i will leave it down below and now i am super excited to try this out so golden dollar I really wanted to try this because I first heard Eva Monroe mention it and then I heard Spicy Looks mention it and both of those ladies have similar tastes to mine and I actually found this for a pretty good deal on FragranceBuy.ca so when I saw it for that price I was just like do it, do it, do it <laughs> and this was like a Christmas gift to myself so hey. Anyway, so let's go ahead and spray this baby. So I will say the cap was on there really, really good. It's not a magnetic cap, but it is like really intense to take off. So <laughs> you don't have to worry about, if you pick this up by the cap, it's not gonna go anywhere. I'm excited. Okay. So I definitely smell the coffee and it smells like there is some chocolate in there, but this is not a heavy scent. So it's spicy. I smell coffee and chocolate and I don't know, some sort of, I don't want to say a weird spice. It's not a weird spice, but it's a spice that I can't name right now. Um, This is very interesting. I, I I wish I could name that spice that I'm smelling right now, but it's definitely something that stands out, but it's in a good way. Like I know I probably look like this smells weird as I'm smelling it, but it's just because I can smell it developing and it just is very different. There's some sort of greenness to it as well. I don't know if it's cardamom that I'm smelling, I don't know that might be it I'm not sure I didn't look up the notes before this video so I just try to take take the smells as they come without looking up the notes immediately so uh, this is really good okay I'm excited to spray this on my skin this is actually smelling a lot lighter than what I expected which is good because it's actually pretty hot here today um, well not hot hot but it's 70 degrees and I was worried that this would be overpowering in the heat but 
So far, so good. Okay, so on my skin, I have to say it smells a little bit sweeter. I mean, it still smells the same, but it's almost like it has some sort of like boozy undertone to it. This is very interesting. I can't recall ever smelling a fragrance like this. I definitely don't think it will be for everybody though because that spice is just very prominent in it. And I don't know what that spice is right now, but I'm sure when you see the notes later on in this video, then, <laughs> then we can tell what it is. But it is, it's different, but it's really nice. All right, so as of right now, I would have to say this is a love for me, guys. Um, of course, I will be back for you in a few seconds. For me, it'll be three days. And at that point, I'll tell you, you know, if it's a love at that point, and we'll really get into more detail about the fragrance. But as for right now, I am loving it. And I'm liking how interesting it is. So make sure you guys stay tuned to find out if this truly becomes love for me, or if it's going to be a like, or if it's going to be a letdown. I'm excited. All right, so I am back, and I know that I said I would be back in about three days, but it's actually been probably about three weeks since I filmed the first portion of this video. So I have had plenty of time to wear this fragrance and to really get a feel on what I think about it. So first up, let's talk about how it smells. This fragrance to me is very unusual, and I really like that about it. So I definitely smell like spiciness and also some earthiness. So I feel like I smell like cardamom and possibly some patchouli. I definitely smell the coffee coming through as well, but it's more like a coffee bean, not like a latte or anything like that. However, I don't feel like the coffee overpowers everything. I just feel like everything kind of meshes together very well. And it smells really good in my opinion, but I definitely think this is not a fragrance that everyone will like. I think it kind of smells unusual. In a way, it kind of smells like you're cooking. <laughs> that made it sound really bad, but I swear it's done so well. It's so, it's so, so good. Over time, when this fragrance kind of settles into your skin, I do feel like more of the vanilla comes out and becomes a little bit sweeter, but those spices still remain. So this doesn't turn into like a sweet, generic vanilla scent like what we smell so much of at this point and it never really loses that spark so those top notes still kind of hang around in my opinion they just kind of die down a bit and some of the sweetness kind of comes out more the longer you wear this fragrance i also want to add that this fragrance to me definitely smells like it would work perfectly on a man or a woman this to me doesn't lean masculine or feminine in any way um, now, if you are a woman who only likes like floral, sweet, girly type scents, then this is not going to be for you. Um, but if you are someone like me who kind of likes the heavier, darker, spicier scents that are more unisex, then this definitely won't feel masculine to you. So let's talk about longevity. Now, I do want to go ahead and preface this by saying, you know, longevity is going to be different for everybody because fragrances last different on different people's skin. And yeah, so let's just put that out there. But for me, this fragrance lasts probably a good eight hours or so. However, the projection does not last that long for me. In my opinion, this fragrance projects pretty well initially. So I would say somebody that's standing probably about five feet away from you would be able to smell it on you for probably the first three hours or so. And then after that, I, I'm still able to smell it on myself, especially if I spray like my clothes. Um, I can still smell it on myself for probably up to about five or six hours. And then after that, it's pretty much a skin scent, but it does last a very long time. I'm sure that it lasts longer than eight hours on clothes, but on, on my skin, I think it lasts about eight hours. On clothes, it lasts a lot longer because I have sprayed this on a shirt and then smell, smell my shirt the next day and it smelled like just delicious, divine. I also have to say that this kind of remains more like the first spray of it on your clothing as opposed to on your skin. So that sweetness that kind of comes out more on your sweat skin as this fragrance starts to mellow out, 
is not really present on your clothes. So I really like the opening of this fragrance and that's my favorite part of the fragrance. So I love that on my clothes it smells the same as it did, you know, when I first sprayed it. Just less intensity. Now one thing I do want to say is that I do feel like I need to overspray this scent. This is not a like dominating fragrance by any means, especially on the skin. Um, on the clothes you of course get more projection but on the skin it does not dominate a room or anything like that. But I wanted to show y'all how much of this fragrance I've used because like I said I've been using it for probably about three weeks maybe a month and can y'all see that dent? My fragrance is already to here. Do y'all see that? So I felt like I should mention that because this fragrance is expensive. And if you are like me and want to smell the fragrance on you, and you're going to have to kind of overspray on this one, in my opinion. Now, I feel like that's going to be different for everybody. I'm sure a lot of y'all will be like, oh, that's bee smoke to me. But maybe at this point, <laughs> my nose is just smells so much stuff and I spray fragrance all the time so maybe for me to smell myself I need to spray a little bit more so keep that in mind but I feel like I need to overspray this one because I love the smell of it and I on my skin I need to overspray it on my clothes I don't spray a lot I'll just spray like one spray generally like in the or one or two sprays like in the chest area but on my actual skin I'm spraying like all up and down my arms because I feel like if I don't do that, then I can't smell, I could probably only smell it for like two hours or so. And I love the way this smells, so I need to be able to smell myself longer than that, so. We kind of already touched on this, but this fragrance is very unique. I don't have anything in my collection that I could really compare it to. I think it's one of a kind. That kitchen spice, thing that it has going on to me just sets it apart from other like gourmands in this kind of category. So I know it's being touted as a coffee scent and yes, the coffee is there, but in my opinion, I think this is more of a spicier scent than coffee dominant scent. Like the coffee is definitely there, but I think the cardamom or whatever, I think nutmeg or whatever that's in here really comes out more. Those spices come out more than the coffee. And to me, that makes this scent very unique to my collection. I was trying to think of another fragrance that I had that smelled similar to this, and I honestly can't think of any. If I had to pick one for my collection, I would say Dior Spice Blend is similar in the fact that that one is very spicy heavy as well, but they smell, to me, these two fragrances smell nothing alike. And I just picked a scent just because I felt like I should, but honestly, I don't have anything that compares to Golden Dollar as far as how the smell is. So where to wear this fragrance? I think this fragrance is appropriate for a variety of situations, honestly. I think it's interesting enough to wear at night, but I also think it's not too far out there to wear during the daytime. I definitely think it will work better in cooler or cold weather, but I don't think that you have to only um, only use it in the cold. Now, would I wear this in the dead of summer? Probably not because I feel like those spices could be a bit nauseating um, when it's super hot outside. I haven't experienced that yet and I live in Florida. I have worn this on days where it's like 70 or so, but I probably wouldn't wear this on a 95 degree day. I just think that it could probably be too much. And it may, I am interested to see on a 95 degree day how this plays on my skin though, because I may be able to get away with just spraying on my skin like a regular person instead of over spraying it. And maybe it'll be just fine. But I really think this works in a variety of situations, which is good in my opinion for the price um, that you're paying. I just feel like when you're paying this kind of money, you want to be able to wear the fragrance a lot. Okay, so let's talk about the price. I did mention this was expensive, and I'm sure you guys guessed it because that's Zerjal. <laughs> They're expensive. I mean, look at this bottle. Would you think this will be cheap? <laughs> um, but this comes in a 1.7 ounce bottle, so 50 ml. It retails for 235 US dollars. Now, I did pay less than that. I purchased this on fragrancebuy.ca, and I paid at the time $179, and then I think I got like 
a 10% discount or something. Nothing to do with this fragrance, but I think I had like a 10% discount code or something. So basically, let's just say I paid about $179 for this. Um, so is it worth the price for me? I think that that's a hard question <laughs> because like I said, you do have to overspray this. And so because of that, I feel like I could go through this bottle in like a year. So for $235 or even $180 to be able to go through a bottle through in a year is a lot for me. Now I know I probably won't go through it because I have a lot of fragrance, um, but that kind of worries me. So I'm going to say, I don't think it's worth the $235 full retail price. However, if you can find a deal on this and get this for like the price I got, like let's say anywhere between like $150 and $180, I do think it is worth the price, in my opinion, for the uniqueness alone. So I definitely wouldn't recommend blind buying this. I definitely think you should get a sample of this if you're interested in it. But um, if you do love it, maybe try to get it on sale. <laughs> or if you just spray fragrance on your clothes, then you probably won't go through it as quick as I'm going through it. So keep that in mind as well. Now at this point in the video, I always ask you guys to put it down below what you think it's going to be. Um, some, a lot of times you guys are right, but sometimes you're wrong. Um, so go ahead and put it down there now before I tell you guys what my final verdict is. I have to say this fragrance is a love for me and that's simply because I love the way it smells. The smell is unmatched and so be, although it has the downfall of me having to use a ton of it, for me, it's still something that I just can't deny my love of the smell of this. I've just been coming in my room and sniffing it like a lot. <laughs> I just think it's very unique and I love the smell of it. And although it is unique, it's still something that makes me feel very comforted and just very like, I feel like when I smell this, I am just in the lap of luxury. You know what I mean? Like this smells like money to me and I love it. And I just think it's very different. And for me, that's why it's a love for me. It almost, when I first started wearing this, I, I won't lie, like the first day or two, I was kind of disappointed because I felt like I wasn't getting enough longevity out of it or I wasn't able to smell it on myself enough. But then when I really started going ham, <laughs> spraying it, I just fell deeper in love with it and so yeah i have to admit that this is a love for me if you would have asked me on the second day of wearing this it probably would have been a just a like because of the not being able to smell it but after wearing it for a few weeks this is definitely a love and i would recommend trying it out if you are able to get a sample or if you find a really good deal on this definitely pick it up. So that's it for my review on Zerzhov Golden Dollar. So if any of you guys have tried Zerzhov Golden Dollar, let us know what you think of it down below. Do you love it? Was it just not worth it for you? Let us know down below. I would love to know what you guys think of this one. Also, if you've tried any other fragrances from Zerzhov, let us know what your favorite one is down below because I am kind of interested in trying more from this brand because this one smells so unique. Um, and I'm always on the hunt for a unique fragrance that I can fall in love with. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.